An Oklahoma City police detective says he was arrested, cursed at, and unlawfully detained for three hours. Now that officer is suing the city of Valley Brook, whose officer made the arrest. News 9's Dana Hurtnicky was in the courtroom, has the latest new at 5. Dana? Christina, arguments are currently underway in this civil suit. That detective saying he was physically and verbally abused, embarrassed in front of his friends and colleagues, and the arrest never should have happened in the first place. Chuck Wheeler, a decorated detective with the Oklahoma City Police Department at an unfamiliar place in the courtroom. This after finding himself at another unfamiliar place, the back of a police cruiser on September 26, 2009. He's a 28-year detective, so you don't think that everyone in Oklahoma City was talking about this. You know, they heard he got arrested and it was just spreading like wildfire, and he wants to put an end to it. Wheeler is suing former Valley Brook police officer Shelby Field and the city of Valley Brook. According to court papers, Detective Wheeler was with his wife and two friends and had just pulled into this parking lot in Oklahoma City and got out of the car when he noticed a police car with its lights on pulling up behind him. That's when Officer Field began to curse at Wheeler, then attempted to grab him by the shirt and shove him backwards, then handcuffed Wheeler and placed him in the back seat of the patrol car. The behavior of the officer is one of the main focal points of this trial, and I mean, cussing at him and screaming at him and just you know driving back to Valley Brook at 73 miles an hour in a 40 mile an hour zone. So I mean, that's a lot of this case. Field denies that he was cursing and says Wheeler did not obey orders to remain in the vehicle. Field says Wheeler tried to hit him with his car while Field was on a traffic stop, and that's why he pulled him over in the first place. Now, the detective, Detective Wheeler, is asking for $10,000 in damages. Arguments are scheduled to continue through tomorrow. Reporting live in the Web Center, Dana Hurtnicki, News 9. All right, Dana, Detective Wheeler received the medal of...